Well, hello, fellow crafters. Janine here with another sugar-free dessert, but this time I upped the ante. Not only is it sugar-free, it is also whole grain. Yes, 100% whole grain. There is no white flour in this recipe at all. So to get started, all I did was mash, uh, I think it was three to four bananas, um, just whatever you have on hand, but I used three to four very ripe bananas, mash them up with my hand mixer. You mash them up in whatever way works for you. And to that, I added my wet ingredients, which was some vegetable oil, eggs and milk, and some vanilla extract. And I also added to that a cup of Splenda. It's the kind that comes in the bag that you can measure out um, and use in baking. And gave that a really good thorough blend, continue to break up that banana. And then once that was mixed up really good, I added my dry ingredients, which was a cup and a third of oat flour, two thirds cup of whole wheat flour, and three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt. And I mixed that up together in a separate bowl really well and then added it to the banana mixture. Now I find the magic mixture for, for flowers, if you want to go with a whole grain variety, that's good for you. Wheat flour can be very, very strong in flavor, so I find blending it with the whole oat flour is um, a more palatable mixture and it also makes a really, really nice consistency. It mimics white flour the best of any of the flours I've tried. And I do make my own oat flour. I just run, um, just get the, the, you know, Quaker oats in the big box or I get my oats uh, through, my parents get commodities and I get three pound bags of oats. And I just throw them through my food plus processor until they're flour consistency. So one and a third, you know, the mixture is one and a third to two thirds of oat flour to whole wheat flour and it's the greatest mixture. Like I said, great consistency. And then to that I did add a cup of pecans. You can use walnuts or you can skip the nuts altogether if your family doesn't like that and just do the banana bread. And I popped that into an oven that I had preheated at 350 degrees and baked it for one hour. And that's just what works perfect in my oven. You might need to go down to 50 or 55 minutes or maybe even just a little bit longer. And that's it. You get whole wheat, sugar-free banana nut bread. Thanks for stopping by. As always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And you have a very blessed day.